Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Access has a feature that allows it to connect to many different types of external data sources. You have a choice as to how you want to connect to the external data within Access. You can either import the external data into a native Access table that you create, or you can try to create a link to the source data. Depending upon the type of link that you create to the source data, you may be allowed to query, add, edit, and otherwise modify the external data as if it were a native access table, but without actually importing the data into the database. Now, when you import external data into an access database versus linking it, then it's actually stored in an access table. You are then free to use it just as you would any other access table. Changes made to the table are not reflected in the original data source, however, such as the text file or spreadsheet from which you imported the data. When you create a link to an external data source, such as an SQL Server database, for example, Access does not import the table, nor does it change the type of data to which it is linked. A linked table in Access is represented by a right pointing arrow which points at an icon. The icon shows different items depending on the source data type of the item. Now linked tables are useful because the link will automatically update the data in the copy in Access with changes from the original data source so that you can always work with the most current data within the linked table. Also, when you delete a linked table from your Access database, it's important to remember that you're only deleting the link or reference to that data source, not the actual linked data source itself. To either import or link external data to your database, you would start by clicking the External Data tab that appears in the ribbon. To then make a connection to the external data source, you would click on the button in the Import and Link group or the import group as it's called in Access 2007 that shows the name of the type of external data to which you are trying to connect. Note that clicking on any one of these buttons will then open the Get External Data Wizard. This wizard will then lead you on a step-by-step -step process that will allow you to decide whether or not to import the data or link the data, select your data source, and also save the connection if needed. Also note that the specific steps involved in the Get External Data Wizard will vary slightly depending upon the type of data which you are trying to import or link to your current database. So let's say we wanted to import or link to an Excel spreadsheet. Notice you have Excel access, ODBC databases, text files, XML files, even more choices, SharePoint lists, data services, HTML documents, Outlook folders, or DBase files. So here we click the Excel to do the Excel spreadsheet get external data. So here it wants to know the file name. We can click the Browse button and browse to the file we'd like to link. Click Open. And then you specify how and where you want to store the data. You can either import the source data into a new table append a copy of records to a selected table, or link to the data source by creating a linked table. Let's choose the link option and then click OK. Here it says that we have more than one worksheet or range within our spreadsheet. Which one do you want? And you can choose to show worksheets or show named ranges. So choose your option and then click Next. If your first row contains column headings, make sure that that checkbox is selected. And then click the Next button to continue. Here it just wants you to input the linked table name. And then click the Finish button. So now you should see it as an icon, in this case pointing at an Excel spreadsheet, in the Tables section of the database. And once again, depending on the options that you have, you may be able to 
update, add, edit, or delete records. So here it says that the record set is not updatable. But you could still use it for queries or reports. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.